I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. The state of Maine announced this week that they will begin permitting legal adult use sales of marijuana starting on October 9th. The state said it expects to begin issuing active licenses on September 8th. We're hearing that Acreage Holdings and Cureleaf are some of the companies vying for those licenses. And speaking of Cureleaf, that company reported their earnings this week, and it was a great quarter. They said they did $117.5 million in revenue for the quarter. This was 142% better than the same time period last year, 22% better sequentially. Now they did report net losses of $2 million. This is much better than the net losses of $24.5 million for the same time period last year. The company said that they expect to report in the third quarter managed revenues of between $190 million and $200 million. Now, they did say that Massachusetts has been quicker in its COVID recovery than Nevada. Nevada, their recovery going much, much slower. We also got earnings from Golden Leaf Holdings. They said that their second quarter revenues came in at $5.5 million. This was a 40% increase over last year and a 16% increase sequentially. Despite capital being tight, there were some capital raises announced this week. One of them comes from a company that probably a lot of people outside the cannabis industry don't know. It's called Dutchy. It's an e-commerce company. They announced they raised $35 million, and this brings their total fundraising to $53 million. Sundial Growers announced a $20 million Series A offering, and Atacana announced the closing of a $2.7 million private placement. And finally, Midasine Innovations Group said that they are going to be the first organization to exercise their GMP capabilities under a special license to produce, transfer, sell, and export pharmaceutical grade psilocybin that's naturally derived from whole mushroom extraction. So it's not a, a synthesized compound, it's an actual natural extraction for the mushrooms. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchardt reporting for the Green Market Report.